who is Busby Maru. I'm, I'm the Busby. And I'm the Maru. And we're, uh, we're Rockhampton boys from central Queensland in Queensland, Australia. And we've been playing music together for almost 15 years. Just getting through the nights, counting down the days. We're all different. Yeah, so our hometown is uh, a little country town called Rockhampton. Uh, it's the beef capital of the world. Uh, it's uh, a lot of fun. We're both from big families and uh, Rockhampton's been a pretty important part of uh, who we are as people and also how it's defined our music. And, and they're really loyal to us back there and um, I've moved on from there now. That Jeremy's family all still live there, so we're pretty well connected. Yeah, I still love the place. It's, um, it's one of those places in Queensland where the, you know, the, the fishing up the river is amazing and then we're on the coastline as well so we can shoot out to the bay and we've got these great islands called the Keppel Group and you know you're literally five minute boat ride you're across and you've got this beautiful pristine island with a beach to yourself and that's the beauty of central Queensland where we're from. Uh, my first record was my sister bought it for me, Talking Heads. Actually R.E.M. out of time and uh, an Australian band, John, Johnny Diesel. Solid State Rhyme on the three CDs I got the first ones together. I can't really remember the first one I bought, but it was probably someone like um, um, Lee Kernigan, who's a big country artist back in Australia. First off, My Sound of Summer, artist would be someone like Zach Brown, where he's talking about fishing, toes in the water, ass in the sand. And mine would probably be an Aussie artist, Paul Kelly. He's got a rip for Christmas song called How To Make Gravy. And that gets spun every summer at my house. Yeah, I can tell you that when we first started, the music scene was non-existent. Uh, it was generally a couple of real old fellas with a music box behind them singing real old country songs in RSLs, and which is like old sports clubs. <laughs> And we started playing acoustic music and people turning up. Um, we didn't have any beatbox machines in the background. We were singing originals, which was never done in Rockhampton. And people were actually enjoying it. They wanted, wanted to hear more. And so fast forward 10 years after we started doing it in our hometown, the young bands that have just been bursting out of, our, you know, out of that area are, are so talented, singing original music, and yeah, it feels like there's a, a bit of a movement there for the regional area. It's great, it's great that we're, we're able to be part of it. Ah, look, the older we've gotten, the more re of realised music means so much to us. I mean, we just took it for granted. Usually growing up, it was fun, it was meeting people, it was uh, making us happy, uh, but there's something about music when we're playing together um, that just feels natural. Um, it feels right, it feels, it feels uh, like we're doing something special and we can see the crowd and see it in the you know the people's faces in the audience and a lot of our fans have gone through tough times and used our music uh, as a bit of a a bit of a guide to get through that so hearing those stories makes it worth you know all the sacrifices we have to make yeah i'm a first nations person of australia so i'm from the torres strait islands uh we call ourselves the torres strait islands i'm from a place called murray island and Song and dance has just really been a way of culture. And I think that's why it's so easy for Tom to sing, for me to just jump in there and sing. Sing along with him, I'm just doing that natural instinct. I'm just gonna put my natural harmony to whatever melody he sings along with. So we love singing. We love singing about anything and everything. And it's, um, it's a cultural way of our, us expressing ourselves. G'day, it's Tom. And Jeremy, and we're Buzzby Maru. You're watching On The Rise.